And then, like I said, then people say, well, the government's involved. Well, if the government's involved, then I really wouldn't mind being paid for my time. Oh, yeah. Now, you know? now like your wife yeah. being a nurse, I mean, how does she take it I, I, when you actually told her that there actually was an implant and they removed it? I mean, how did uh, well, she my, respond? My wife, was, my wife was with me with with uh, two of these two of my close UFO sightings. So, you know, when uh, when it showed up I had an implant, yeah, that was very interesting. The hard thing was, like I said, we were pretty kind of naive, and then uh, uh, the first program coming out and being brutal as it was, and you know, my wife lost faith in humanity on that one. I mean, it was, it took a while uh, for her to get to understand that you know that's it's kind of the way the game's getting played. But yeah, it, it, and it and it sucked, but she's getting better. I mean, it's you know. Uh, like I said, I didn't only stupidly talk about the paranormal with her when I was going with her, whatever. I didn't want to run her off. And uh, because, you know, best thing I ever run into in my life. And geez, I really helped a lot. It's a little tough, but, you know. But then, like I said, she, you know, just like when I go to the doctor, I have to deal with the reality of telling these people that I've been abducted by aliens. And I really, you know, some of these things are all strange and I can get, I can go there. As, you know, and just like the reality, uh, she's doing home health now, and you, you, you go help somebody, and you've got your patient there has got to have what you can't be improvising. I mean, you got to deal with reality. Oh, yeah. I mean, how, how did when, when you go to the doctors now and you tell them that you were implanted uh, back, you know, uh, 20, 30 years ago, uh, how do they, well, how do they respond well, to you? Well, I've done, like I told you, I, I've taken, I took all the programs I was on with Dr. Lear, and I had no VCR, and I kind of recorded the segments of the episodes on the programs I was in and had them on a tape, and then eventually now I've got it worked over to a, uh, a disc, a DVD, and I have a man I contact and he makes them for me and when I go I just give him the disc and I say this is the best I can do for you you know and we go from there so I'm kind of you know I'm it's in my medical record that I've uh, I've been abducted I mean uh, society can deal with it one way or another I mean that's the way it is but no I tell it like it is I mean that's the way it is I mean I'm very fortunate that I, to say that I've been abducted and do have some scientific collaboration to back it up. Now, some people can hoot on poo, but like I said, I went and done it. I underdid the surgery. Okay, they snipped on me. I mean, hey, take it for what it's worth. I mean, if you don't like it, that's fine. But, hey, if you've got a better explanation, come on down. <laughs> wow. Uh you know, that's how else can I look at it? You know, uh, it, it it's a tricky situation, but you know, and uh, believe me, it's gotten a lot more interesting in the last 16 years, especially maybe the last sale well, since Dr. Lear's run, passed because I run into some more information along stuff that I really don't want to divulge yet because I don't want the yays and the skeptics or whatever out there to. Uh, uh, I'll give them another path to think they might need to look down and uh, see if we can, uh, what, best way to call it, muddy the waters? No. But uh, I realize this, and it's going to be there. You know, I mean, this is why I'm talking to you. I mean, you're going to have this archived a little bit, and this is great for me. And, well, know, actually, I actually, put a book out. I, I haven't wrote no book yet. And the best I do is I try to help doc people understand Dr. Lear's book. I mean, well, I do a book. Well, you know, it's just like, like I said, brought Jan's uncle up, great uncle up. Well, he didn't really write, so it was kind of confusing. Now that he's gone, exactly what? Well, I realize I've got to do something so we don't have that confusion. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work on it. But, every, you know, every time I can think I got it gelled in, something comes along and shakes the gel a little bit, and I have to really step back and uh, contemplate exactly how I want to approach this. So that's where we're at. Yeah. I mean, you know, from the standpoint of being abducted, uh, that means you, you know, um, 
you were taking from your car. You, that's the whole problem. A lot of people, you know, at the time like stand still. They, 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 they don't realize, you know, they're being transported, you know, to maybe a UFO or wherever they're going, uh, to, you know, have the implant or and be, you know, experimented on or you know for an examination or something. Yeah. So I mean, you know, they, they probably, I hate to say it, they, they wanted you, and. Uh, you know, I, I'm just wondering, you know, if they go to the point of basically kidnapping you, ab- abducting you. Yeah. Right. And, and doing yeah. what all they do, then you surgically have it removed. Uh, just, I just wonder if that, you know, I wonder if Dr. Lear if ever had any of his other uh, patients that had implants that were re- removed, if uh, any implants reappeared afterwards. I'm just kind of curious. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't. You know, I really, you know, we never got into that with, I never got into that with Roger. You know, I kind of, you know, I didn't really ask, you know, I kind of let him tell. And I was trying to try to follow his lead and help him out, you know, and I realized, you know, and you know, cause like I said, I, I was a, I was a, I was a sheep among the wolves and I, you know, he was trying to steer me. So I didn't, you know, I, cause everything in his dog was coming at us when I kind of come out, because like I said, well, like I say, uh, I had my surgery done in, in February, and then like I say, in March, I, I go out and Dr. Lear and I make the opening remarks at the International UFO Congress there in Laughlin, you know, and I uh, start running into people, and so I spent a week out there with him. I mean, it was an interesting time, you know, but I got to, you know, who's, uh, who's, who's, who's telling me the truth, and who's giving me their imagination was a little hard for me to you know, I can, you know, separate, like I say, separate the wheat from the chaff. And it was, you know, quite an interesting time. And it still has been. But, you know, instead of having a month experience like I did there, I've got a few years now. And I uh, I think I'm getting a little better at it. <laughs> yeah, wow. I, you know, but, the, the standpoint, I mean, I don't know how many patients, I mean, it, I mean, it's so sad that, you know, he passed on like that. I mean, you know, like, it was really strange. He was on Art Bell's show a week before he passed on. And, I realized that. And then all of a sudden we, we lost him. And, you know, it just, uh, uh, it, it's so sad because, I mean, there's not really uh, not. Well, no, we, I don't we, know. We have- I don't know if anybody's taken over what he was doing. Well, um, I guess Steve Coburn's kind of working on it. And, uh, and uh, we have Daryl Sims uh, in in there because he was kind of with Dr. Lear. But like I say, we really don't have, you know, we don't have a, a medical doctor doing this stuff. We have we have a scientist and we have a ex-CIA, you know, that's kind of it. You know, I, yeah, I don't know if other, you know, and you can you get another, other doctors to kind of come in, want to pick up and have the uh, drive that Dr. Lear had? I don't know. You know, I just don't know. Uh, uh, that or maybe a, a lot of people are scared if they do it right they're they're going to get labeled and that's probably you know dr well, lear dr lear didn't care what other doctors thought you know he he knew well, they were real so you know and, that's right you know you know i mean uh, that's just like me what should i care when you know if i was blowing smoke up your behind then it would be different but you know i mean you know there are truths in this world that are that are absolute you know, I mean, even when I'm gone, these aliens are still going to be around, you know, and they were around before I was born. And, you know, it's just, it's there and it's a fact. I mean, it, they were around before all of us were born and they're going to be here long after all of us are gone here on this planet. I mean, that's just the way it is and whatever, you know. And uh, my feelings is maybe we should get to where we can deal with it, but, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Of course, like I'm sitting here and I can't tell you what it looked like because I got missing time uh, to such a, a degree that, uh, you know, it scares me and I really don't know how, you know, ain't been able to hypnotize, but some left me with a pretty clean slate. But I'm, you know, and I realize the reasons that they've done this over my lifetime, probably because they don't want, didn't want to interfere with my thought processes in a sense. I mean, I sounds pretty egotistical, but you know, this is the only way I can look at it. Well, don't if forget, 
you, 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 uh, a lot of the people are being abducted and then having implants. You know, they're kind of like an experiment. You know, uh, so they're, well, they're they're they they're not going to let you know that we implanted you because that would defeat what they're trying to do. Yeah, there's a lot. You know, everybody's different. There's a lot of different people on this uh, on this planet, and, and you know, like I try to tell everybody, the universe is not only stranger than we imagine; it's stranger than we can imagine. So when then we go to the universe and we start pulling in the paranormal. I mean, you know, uh, you get a pretty big chance to chew on there, you know, and not everybody can swallow it. You yeah. get my draft. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it seems like uh, the people that have been abducted, it seems uh, that they have more events than in the paranormal than the average person that never was abducted. And, and, and. And I don't know if it's because maybe they were implanted. I mean, a lot of people probably walking around and, and they're implanted and they don't even realize it. I mean, you know, how would they know? I'm I'm sure that, that that's uh, quite the case, that there are probably a lot of people walk around and they got no clue. They got no clue. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, and sometimes that's the way it, it's operating, you know. Uh but at least, like, you know, I'd be talking with Dr. Lear. Well, what about Travis Walton? Well, maybe Travis got himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that can happen, too, you know. I mean, it's it's so hard to say. But, you know, and then we got, then you got a lot of people that haven't been abducted. They're trying to tell you things that they've done, you know, one of these. And, you know, the, you, you really muddied the water. And then if you, you have a, a a genuine and abductee, then you have a problem or a little bit of really figuring things out but you know that i that, that problem's existed before before i came along that's going to exist after i'm gone but you know there is no drawback and try to punt to uh no but that's always what i can for me there's always people that you know uh they want a few minutes of uh, fame. So there's people that will actually lie and say oh i was abducted and make up a great story. I mean i get so many people want to be on my show and I have to screen them really good, you know, uh, to verify that that who they are is who they are. I mean, I have people that use fake names, uh, use other people's names, uh, or they'll 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 text me uh, uh, their story of whatever you know they're trying to get on the show for, and then you know a week or two later they text me again, but the story is slightly changed, and and then when I talk to them, the story has changed again. I mean. Th- that de- that does damage to the paranormal, and you know I try to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, I understand, and I, you know, I, but but like I say, it is it is difficult, you know, and that's why I say there's some things since I really don't want them to know yet. I know they pertain to me, but I I also realize that I'm about as I got as about a good argument I can say for being abducted without telling them tell you what they look like as anybody, you know. Now, uh, one of the last surgeries Dr. Larry done was on a man. I won't mention his name, but his surgery is almost identical to mine. The implant was in the same, almost in the, identical in the body. I mean, uh, I kind of got the feeling we could put our x-rays in one over another one, and they'd both be about the same. But uh, he was a young man, and he was abducted in 1970. And... Uh, he was down near Cape Canaveral, Florida, with a couple of his buddies, you know. And there's some things about it, but uh, he goes out and they take it. But they were able to arrest this man and, uh, you know, get some information, which Doctor Lear was always wanting to get out of me. But when they, were, they just I couldn't ever go there, and it was tried several times. But anyway, I I happened to get to talk to this gentleman a little bit after his uh, he'd been regressed in his surgery, and I'm talking. You know, I thought, well close to me i mean i guess i can logic i guess i can logically assume that his uh we we both ran into the same uh, critter so uh you know i'm talking to him and i tell him about getting beamed up in a beam of light that didn't cast any shadow which i'd heard about you know and we had a few laughs but he says yeah he says yeah it had big black eyes looked at me and told me i wouldn't remember anything he says, you know what was strange? He said it didn't have a nose or a mouth. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so 